So we have a sample of nit a mixture of nitrogen gas and sulfur dioxide gas gives us the pressure. And this mixture is exposed to sodium oxide. And the only thing that reacts with the sodium oxide is sulfur dioxide. So the nitrogen doesn't react. And we need to supply the states here. So we should remember that this is an ionic compound, sodium oxide. So it's a solid. Sulfur dioxide's a gas. That's the only thing uh, that's going to obey the gas laws in this equation. Nitrogen will too. Then it says after the reaction is complete. We're going to assume that means that the sulfur dioxide has completely reacted. That's what that would mean. And the pressure has dropped to 456 torr. And so that comes only from the nitrogen because the sulfur dioxide is used up. So how many moles of sulfur dioxide were in the original mixture? So this 975 torr that was from the N2 plus the SO2. It reacted completely and dropped to 456 torr. So that's going to be only the N2 that's left. So what's produced, or what was reacted, I should say, is 519 torr, and that's the SO2 that reacted. So if I want to figure out moles of sulfur dioxide, I know that as N of a gas increases, I also know the pressure increases. So what that means is um, if I have if I know the, the moles of the mixture and I divide that by the pressure of the mixture, that's going to equal the moles of SO2 divided by the pressure of SO2. We could include and we could also say that the that would also equal the moles of N2 over the pressure of N2, but we're not concerned with that. We're concerned with finding the moles of sulfur dioxide in the original mixture. So it says here that we had an original 0 0.200 moles of this mixture of gas. And it had an original pressure of 975 torr. We don't need to change that to atmospheres because it's a proportion. So, and everything's in atmospheres. That's going to equal the moles SO2 divided by the pressure of SO2, which we just calculated to be 519 torr. So, solving for moles of S, so we're going to multiply the moles of the mixture times the 519 torr divided by 975 torr. And so the moles of SO2 equals 0 0.106 moles SO2.